What's going on YouTube? It's Tyler and today I'm going to talk about TV tuner sensitivity and how you can possibly pick up more over the air TV stations with a better TV tuner. Now first I want to give a shout out to Mike from Levittown and Teddy from Allentown for donating to my channel. Both of them I went to their house and I set up an antenna for Mike. As I said he lives in Levittown and he picked up 70 to 80 over the air channels from Philadelphia and Allentown and Teddy receives about 30 in Allentown. He gets some Scranton, Wilkesbury and Philadelphia channels. So I appreciate the donations guys and if you want to contribute to my channel feel free to follow the link in the description. So as most of you already know by now, I set up outdoor TV antennas for people in Pennsylvania. And most times when I set up these antennas, I'm connecting multiple TV sets. And a lot of times what happens, and it even happened with Mike from Levittown about a week ago, is when I connect all the TV sets, some TV tuners will get 40 channels, but others may only pick up 35 or 30. And they're all connected on the same line with the distribution amp, so there isn't any loss in the coaxial cable. I want to talk about why that is. TV tuners are a lot like radios. Some radios can pick up very far away weak radio stations that you normally wouldn't get on your average radio, while other radios are very bad at picking up far away stations and can only pick up local stations. TV tuners kind of act as the same way. Some TV tuners can pick up very far away weak signals, while others can't really decode the signal and just show either a no signal or a lot of pixelization where you would get a crystal clear stable image on a different signal. Set. Most new TV sets have much better TV tuners than the older TV sets did back prior to like 2015, 2014. And one brand in particular that does a really good job at decoding weaker signals, way better than even my portable tuner up at the antenna is Samsung. Pretty much in every scenario where I have set up antennas, the Samsung models have no problem decoding the weaker signals, and even in one instance brought in more channels than the TV tuner I was using up at the antenna, which really shows a lot. So if you have an outdoor TV antenna connected to multiple TV sets in your house and some TVs aren't picking up as many stations as others, the first thing you want to do is verify the TV tuner itself. So for example, let's say you have an older TV set that you bought like maybe six years ago in your bedroom and it's not picking up channels 22 and 28. Bring it to where the TV in your living room is that's picking up those stations and plug it into that cable. If you're able to get those channels in the living room on the set that you weren't able to pick them up in the bedroom, you can verify that it's lost in the coaxial cable and the best thing to do is to add a preamplifier or distribution amplifier to make up for loss in the coaxial cable running through your walls. However, if those TV stations still are not coming in on that TV tuner and you have it connected to the same cable that the other TV was connected to picking up those stations, you can kind of jump to the conclusion that it's not doing a good job decoding weak signals. And I've noticed a lot of older TV sets, usually prior to 2015, aren't really that good at picking up weak over-the-air signals. A few specific brands that I've noticed have been Dynex, RCA, Element, and Sony. Usually older sets from prior to 2015, they don't do a good job at decoding weak signals. So if you have one of those sets, you have two options. First, you can either get a new TV set just because you think, hey, they're only about $100, $200, I don't really care. I could sell it on Craigslist Upgrade it anyway. But the other option you have is to buy a separate TV tuner. I recommend the Amatic Digital Converter Box. It has HDMI out so you can still keep the HD signal, you can record shows, and it does a pretty good job at decoding weak signals. Personally, I've been using this converter box for about a year for the TV set in my living room. That's a pretty decent size, it's 42 inches, but it's an older set and doesn't really decode channels 22 and 28, which are the weaker stations in my market, but the digital converter box gets them in pretty much with no problems. So as I mentioned, you have those two options if you're in this scenario, but first you want to verify that you're not losing signal on the coaxial cable. You want to bring the TV set that isn't decoding the weak station to where the TV set that is doing a good job decoding it. And you want to make sure that you don't have loss in the coaxial cable. If the TV tuner that wasn't getting it in your bedroom isn't getting in your living room, but there is a TV set in your living room that's able to get in your living room and your bedroom, you know it's a tuner. However, if the problem is confined to a few spots, for example, in your bedroom and your living room, no matter what TV set you use, you're not able to get certain stations that you're able to get in the living room, you can definitely jump to the conclusion that you're losing signal in the coaxial cable and splits and the best way to compensate for that is a distribution amp. These are two models that I recommend for connecting up to four and eight different TV sets. The link is in the description. 
Hopefully this video did a good job of explaining why some TV sets in a house may pick up more stations than others and how to resolve it. Now, if you're interested in antenna installation in the Eastern Pennsylvania region, feel free to check out my website, antennamanpa.com. Subscribe to my channel for more cord cutting updates and have an awesome day.